In this tutorial, we're going to be making this basic sword. So we're going to start off by adding a cube to our scene. This is going to be the hilt of the sword. So we're going to scale that and stretch it out. Uh, and then we're going to add some loop cuts. Something like that is fine. And then we're going to grab this middle section and scale that up to be the base of where the sword is actually attached. And something like that is absolutely fine. Uh, and then we'll grab these edges and scale those down on the z-axis make it nice and narrow give it a bit of an interesting shape um, we'll scale that inwards as well and make this as interesting as possible that's something like that is fine and then we're going to grab these faces and again we're just going to play with the shape until you get something you like really feel kind of feel free to get creative with this bit I'm quite happy with that so far. It's looking good to me. Lovely. Uh, so then we're going to grab these middle ones. We'll move these in just a little bit. Scale those on the z-axis as well. Um, and then I'm going to just bevel these to give it a bit more of a curve. And make it look a little bit more natural. Something like that is fine. We'll do the same with these, these edge ones as well. Let's just add a, a basic little bevel there. Um, you hit C when you're doing this, you can clamp it so it doesn't overlap with your others. There we go, something like that. That looks pretty good so far. Lovely. And next we're gonna add the sword. So we'll grab these top two faces and we're gonna hit I to inset that. And then we'll scale that down on the X axis something like this to make the kind of shape of a, a blade uh, and we'll scale it up on the y-axis as well something like that looks pretty good lovely and then what we're going to do is grab those two faces and extrude those upwards let's get a better look at this extrude that sword there you go Perfect, looks looking good. Um, so then with these top two faces then on your blade, I'm just gonna grab these two and extrude that again upwards. And then we'll grab these edges there. So just grab both of those and we're gonna move those down on the z-axis. Just like that to create your point and then we'll bevel those edges as well to get a nice curve on the edge of that blade. Something like that. Perfect. Um, now this is quite a chunky sword, so we're, we're going to grab the edge faces around the outside of the sword, just like this. Grab all of those, and then we're just going to scale those down on the x-axis. Just make sure we don't overlap. Just something like that. That looks good to me. Nice and narrow. And there you go. We've got a kind of basic shape of our sword going. Uh, we did spot some kind of dodgy faces down here. Uh, I think there was an extrusion that I forgot to get rid of, so we'll just get rid of those. Uh, and then we'll scale this inwards as well, just to make sure there's no holes in the mesh. Uh, we'll do the same on the, both, on the other side as well. There we go, lovely. Perfect. That is looking pretty good. So next thing we need to do is add the handle. So we're going to add in a cylinder and we'll move that one down and just position that where it meets the hilt we'll grab this bottom edge and move that down on the z-axis and this is already looking pretty good uh, we'll add some loop cuts on the handle um, and try and try and fail and grab this center section which <laughs> make sure it's invisible we just want to grab this center section and then press o for proportional editing and just scale that up a bit to get that kind of handle shape there we go that's looking pretty good and then we also need to add a pommel so we're going to add another cylinder move this down hold control and rotate it on the y-axis snap that to 90 degrees uh, and then scale that up into place. Something like this. That's perfect. 
Uh, and then if we grab both of these edges and try, oh, you can see when I'm trying to uh, bevel these edges, there's a bit of weirdness going on. So chances are we haven't applied our transforms. So just control A to do that in, uh, in object mode. Go to object mode and we'll select our object, control A, apply all transforms. And now if we go back in and we grab these edges, try and bevel that. There we go. That's much better. Chances are if there's any weirdness going on with your meshes, that like that is often the cause, at least for me so far. And something like that looks good to me. Lovely. Uh we'll just extrude these, make the shape a little bit more interesting again. So it will grab these and scale them on the x-axis. Looks good. Lovely. We'll shade this auto smooth to make it lovely and smooth without affecting our blade. Um, and that looks pretty good. Pretty good so far. Uh, so we just want to make some final kind of touches there and add a bit of detail. Um, I'm going to inset these faces and we'll scale those outwards as well. Just to kind of make the shape on the hilt a little bit more interesting and a bit less blocky. Uh, we're also going to grab these faces and just give them a little bit of a bevel on the outside. And we'll grab just that inner edge as well, which is a bit rigid. And we'll do the same thing. We'll give that a bevel, just like that. Perfect. Uh, and then just to add a bit more detail here after the fact, I actually came back in and I beveled the top and the bottom of this hilt as well just to round that off make it look a bit more real um, and i also stretched out the hilt horizontally just to make it a bit wider and thinner um, stretched out the blade and the handle as well just to make it more of a long sword a bit more natural i'm also going to grab this blade and we'll grab these center two edges and we're just going to bevel that to create kind of an inset in the middle of the blade um, and then we will hit control and F and extrude faces along normals just to extrude those inwards and give it that kind of dip that you often get on these kind of blades. And then finally, we're going to go back into that pommel. We're going to inset those faces. And again, we're going to extrude faces along normals, extrude those inwards just to make the shape a little bit more interesting and believable. And that is it. We'll add a few materials from Blender Kit. And we'll set up a bit of a stage and we'll add in some lighting and that's our final render. That's our sword done. Let me know what you thought and subscribe for more.